Hey everyone, Jared here, Magnetic Men's Club. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today's video is all about consistency. How to stay consistent. This is something that all of us at some point has had to struggle with. Maybe it's staying on a new diet or keeping up with our gym regimen, or maybe it's just you're in school and it's very hard to stay consistent in writing your reports could be in work, you're, it's hard to stay consistent in a certain area of your work, whatever it is, we all had at some point in our life to deal with inconsistency. The fact of life is all life is inconsistent. The only consistent part of life is death. And that's part of what I want to talk about a little bit today not to get the glum gus part of it out but i want to tie these two together so that you understand really what consistency is and why we as humans as creatures aren't consistent before we get into that if you're new here welcome i appreciate you guys tuning in and of course if you're a current subscribe member if you're already in the cool kids club thank you for continuing to follow my journey the new people, you guys can be part of the new kids club. You can be part of the cool group right now. Hit the subscribe button. Let's get after it. I'm sure a lot of you who've been struggling with staying consistent in the past, maybe a family member, a friend, maybe you've even had a coach or you go online and you see an influencer say, you just have to stay focused or all you need is willpower or you just have to want it bad enough. and. To be fair, yes, in order to stay consistent, you need to stay focused, you need to have some type of willpower, you need to have some type of why that this thing you want. Of course, all of that is important, but none of it gets the heart of consistency and none of that will actually make you or help you stay consistent. And the reason why is, and this is kind of where the death part comes in, but just stay with me for this. This is a little different, but the reason why you can't stay consistent is you're not playing the game of life as one person. And that's the whole problem people who, who are not consistent. They think they're the same person every day, but in reality, we're not. Every day we wake up, we're actually different people. It's a new version of us every single day. Everything in this universe, if you think about it, is in constant change. Our cells are constantly dying, constantly being reborn. We're constantly changing within our bodies. The environment is constantly changing. So logic would tell us that every day we're somebody different than we were yesterday. So the key thing to understand is that if you want consistency, you have to start by understanding that you don't exist beyond today. Your entire life is actually, if you think about it, a video game, there's multiple players within your life. And every day, a new person comes into your life, a new version of you, and they get to live your life one day at a time. Each day you wake up is not you of yesterday. Someone new is playing the version of you today. Now this might sound weird, but think about it just for a second because what do we all love to do? We all love to screw over tomorrow you today, right? Think about on any given day, I'm guilty of this, I know you're guilty of this, we're all guilty of this, but on any given day, you have this list of things you need to do, right? Maybe it's, I need to go to the gym, obviously I need to work, I need to do stuff with my kids. There's this laundry list of things that we need to do. Some of those things we have to do, other things are more optional. Some of those optionalities will help increase our life. Some of those optionalities will help create deficits in our lives. So, for instance, going to the gym, nobody needs to go to the gym. It's an optionality, but 
It's something we all know in order to maintain a healthier lifestyle, we need to get to the gym, we need to have some type of exercise, we need to eat right. Then there are the other optionalities where we know we need to do these reports, we know we need to fill out these applications, but on a given day, do we actually do everything we need to do? Fuck no. We all say, well, I'll do that tomorrow. I'm a little tired. I don't really want to go to the gym today. I'm a little tired. I'll do that tomorrow. If you can at least understand that you're only you today, the new version of you tomorrow has to clean up your mess. Most of us don't recognize that we only get to live this moment in time. This is the only time that we get to be in charge. And this is why we are so neglectful because when people have no conception of the future, no sense of stewardship, what do they do? They fuck things up or they fuck things over for the next person. And this is exactly how most of us live our lives. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of analogy because we've, we've all done this. You've all been to a public bathroom and you gotta really go to the bathroom and you open up the stall and some fuck had pissed all over the toilet seat or they got hot ass dookie water all over the stall and you're pissed. But why are you pissed? Because that person before you didn't care enough to clean up after himself and he pushed his responsibility onto somebody else. Basically said, I don't give a shit. Yeah, I put hot shit all over the place. I, I'm, I'm busy, I'm gonna let somebody else do it. They pushing off their responsibility. And you get pissed because it just happens to be you who has to use the stall next. This is what we all do to our future selves, to future you. I'm gonna leave this thing for this dude tomorrow. And so we spend our life enjoying today. And then you wake up tomorrow and then who do you actually get mad at? Sort of get mad at yourself, but just like that dude who left that hot turd in the toilet for you, you're actually mad at the dude who came before you because that person fucked you over. He didn't do the things he needed to do, so now it's up to you to fix. Does that make sense? So now, all the stuff that didn't get done yesterday is the responsibility of the new person on top of his or her responsibilities of today's task. And if this keeps happening enough, days go by, years go by, decades go by, and you're still the exact same person you were, only in a worse position now than you started because now you're starting older and you're starting from a deficit. So any changes that we make later in life are always harder because we're competing with our age and we're competing against the deficits that we've created based on the choices we've made in the past, really abducting responsibility, kicking the can down the road to future you. So every time you push off going to the gym, every time you push off working on your business, working on your relationships, working on being a better father, being a better mother, working on you, what you're effectively doing is you're pushing off the responsibilities of today in the name of comfort. You piss all over that toilet seat for future you. So what do we do about this? How can I use this information to stay consistent? The very first thing is you have to understand that Stop playing this game of life as if it's just you, just one person, but rather you're a new version every day and that today is the only time you get to be in charge. The choices you make today will affect future you tomorrow. Now you might be saying, Jared, but I don't really care about future me or the future. I might die today. I just wanna live for today. Why would I care so much about the future? That doesn't make sense to me. We all make sacrifices for something if we think that thing will be worth it. So an example is maybe you're a guy who really needs a truck. He's looking for a new truck, but you're also ready to ask your girlfriend to marry 
you and so you decide you make the sacrifice of the money that you saved up for the truck you're going to apply that to the ring and so the sacrifice is you value her you value the wedding more than a truck another sacrifice could be maybe you have a friend a family member a loved one who's not doing really well maybe something's happened in their life maybe they're dying and you decide to go and spend some time with them, well, you're sacrificing the time, that time, because this might be the last time you're gonna see that person, this might be the last time you're gonna to talk to that person. So you value that friendship, that love, that bond, more than the time you're giving up to go see them. So we all make sacrifices. If you want to live a life of consistency, you have to understand there is no consistency in us. So the question really becomes, do you want to do the work that you're tasked to today to help move the needle forward for future you to overall improve your life? Or do you want to set up future you for failure? The choice is up to you. That's all I have on this. I hope this video made sense for you. I was trying to put it together in a way that most of us could at least understand this is why we're not consistent. And the cheat code to staying more consistent is just understanding this is it for me today. I'm only in charge today and I want to help all the versions of me tomorrow so I must do the work today in order to help them out in the future so they have it a little bit easier. Again, my name is Jared Schumacher. This is the Magnetic Men, Cl Men Club. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you found this video helpful, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Please leave me a comment and we will talk to you in the next video. Take care.